All right, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the MC structures and MC worlds for any projects or anything else that uh, are mini games that I'm going to be producing on my channel. This is the MC pack, and then we got the MC world down below. And in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to open them and put them into your world. The MC pack works a little bit different, um, whereas the MC world, you just download it and then the world pops up. Uh, MC pack is more for when you have a existing world already and you want the mini game in that existing world. So that's why I have that feature as well. Uh, so let's get right into it. All right, so the first step to this is just downloading it. Uh, the MC World and MC Pack are going to work exactly the same, but I'm going to show you guys the MC Pack just because you have to type in some commands for that one to work, and the MC World will just pop up in your game. So if you just go ahead and download this file, I'm on Android, so it's going to pop up with an option to open it. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to give me the option to open it in Minecraft, but if it doesn't do that and you have to have some uh, device where it's not giving you that option, you're going to need to download a file like manager or explorer, whatever, uh, any of these ones on the App Store should work. Uh, the only specification is it needs to have the open with uh, option. And that is, so I've downloaded one already. And it should just look like that, open with. And then I've got Minecraft. And you just need to be able to open the file with Minecraft. Uh, so let me go ahead and open that up. All right, and the first thing you're going to see is the import started. Um, mine's going to fail because I've already downloaded it. See, import failed because there's a duplicate pack. Let me change my skin real quick. This is bugging me. Um, but yours shouldn't fail. Uh, after you've done that, you're just going to go play and then create a new world. Uh, at least that's what I'm going to do. You're probably going to want to put it on an existing world uh, if you're doing the add-on. And the only two things that you're going to need to turn on is cheats and the spleef behavior pack. I just go to my packs and click activate. All right, so now we can go ahead and create the world. Obviously, you'd be playing the world. You just have to make sure those two things are activated and on the world. Um, now that we are in the world, I'm going to show you guys how the command, the coordinates work for this command. You're going to want to find the positive positive. So if you just walk in each direction, you can watch your chords um, grow. And you want to find the direction where your chords are growing. Uh, so if I go in each direction, uh, it's this direction. So after I have that in mind, I now want to find a nice place of where I want to create this structure or load it in. Um, so let me come over here. I found a nice place. Um, and I know that it's going to be uh, loading in the positive, positive direction, which I've already figured out is this direction. So if I go ahead and run this command. Um, so the command is uh, backslash structure, a load, and then... You're going to type in the game of the structure, which is spleef, and then in the squiggle, and then squiggle negative two, and then the squiggle. All right, so now that we have the structure loaded, um, in order to break these blo this uh, line, this orange and green like highlighting box, you just break the structure block right there, um, and then those will disappear with it, and then. The only thing you guys you need to do before this game is ready to play, you need to t change the command block output to false, because if it's not, you're going to see a bunch of spam on the side. So to do that, you're just going to do backslash uh, game rule space command block output space false, just like this. Um, and then you're going to want to change this one command block to the area of where your spawn or your mini game area is, like your uh, lobby, and that's just going to make it so people who are inside of the mini game they'll be able to click to go back, and then obviously you're going to want to be able to teleport them inside of this area. All right, so I also have these lights on the mini game waiting room, and those are just to symbolize how many people are in the mini game. You need a max amount of two; it won't let you play the game if there's only one, and you can really go up to an infinite amount of number. I'd like to see 100 people play this game. It would run it, it would just be crazy. So I just found these shulker boxes on the structure and I forgot to delete them. They're my backup, mine and Ryan's backup for our Bedrock server. So that's why they're here. Don't worry about that. That has nothing to do with the game. That's just 
something I forgot about. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this mini game. Um, it's not too complicated. And uh, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. Uh, have a wonderful day and see you in the next video.